Hey folks, I'm Mike Davis. Welcome back to JRM 360. Now by now you know the story. Our main man, Regan Smith, leading on the final lap at Daytona last Saturday in the Nationwide race. And in trying to hold off Brad Kozlowski, they wreck. And so did 10 other cars, including three from JRM, all three of them. Now what we didn't know at the time, but we soon found out, is the cars would be the least of our concern. And I hope that we can all agree that fans are our number one priority, not just on that day, but on any day. And being the fan show that we are, we decided we're gonna build this whole episode around fan questions that we've received on Twitter. What does it feel like to be in a wreck? Especially the big one. Does it hurt? Do the drivers actually talk to each other in the care center? Well, let's just go find out from the man himself, the guy leading the race at the time of the wreck, Regan Smith. What, what happened? Crashed. Hard. I had no idea. Yeah, yeah. Not it's okay, it's okay. Not hey, think of it like this. We have met our sheet metal quota for charity auctions for the year. I, that could be considered one bright spot. Let's walk through this. I mean, you at home, we all saw the big wreck, and my man here was about to get his second win in, in as many races with Junior Motorsports. And then somehow, what, tell, tell, walk us through the wreck, the last lap. Came out of four and felt on, his, on my rear bumper him make his move up followed him up to essentially keep him behind me as he went up and at that moment the block was fine brad went to do a double move back down to the bottom to come to the inside that's where i got turned that's where things went wrong for the record uh you know a lot of people say you know well what did you expect if you're going to try to block somebody going that fast at a restrictor plate but we've seen many times where the block works trevor bain won a daytona 500 throwing a block did he not well not only have we seen the block work but when you're tandem racing the block's a whole different deal because all you're doing is trying to keep that car hooked to your bumper Why? once you keep that car hooked to your bumper you're fine because they can't break apart from you and otherwise when they break apart from you now all of a sudden that car's a sitting duck Gotcha. That, that's been broken apart from and the car that you know is the back car uh, as i want to call it has all the momentum let me ask you this on those big wrecks at restrictor play tracks like you're wrecking for like 10 seconds usually like at least 10 seconds is this like a roller coaster what does honestly that feel like what does it feel like to get hit multiple times and just kind of be like a pinball machine <laughs> in this particular wreck after the first hit when i realized okay the whole field's still coming and I've got no control over this thing right now. You basically do the old tuck and you just, you know, you brace for impacts and, and you wait till they stop. Sometimes they go on longer than other times and, and sometimes they don't. Um, in our situation, the last the last hit that we took was hands down the worst one. I don't know, really? don't know who it was or, or where it came from. Um, but that was the one that was in the driver's side door that, uh, that definitely got my attention. So you're in the care center. Did you see other drivers at the care center? I did. I came into the care center, uh, took me into, and you know, every care center is set up differently. There's a lot of rooms on one side at Daytona and a couple rooms on the other side. Um, so I walked in there to the side where a lot of rooms were, and there was probably, let's say, five or six drivers at that point in there, um, in that section. And they're all talking about the wreck and what happened and, and you know, essentially how they got through the wreck or what they were doing to get through the wreck. Was Brad one of the drivers that was in the care center? Brad was in the care center, okay. um, and as I got ready to leave the care center, I saw him. Hadn't seen him to that point. Um, walking out, caught him out of the corner. I turned around, went back, talked to Brad, said, hey, you know, here's what happened. I said, I threw a block, and basically I think I did the same thing that you were kind of expecting I was going to do, and you did the same thing I was kind of expecting you were going to do, um, coming to the flag at Daytona. You can see the start. You can see the checker flag. It didn't work, and, and you know, who knows, perfect world. The block works, and it breaks his momentum and we go on and win the race. Now I want to echo something that Regan said right after the race and what Dale and Casey have said that earlier this week, and that is how truly grateful we are that the fans are going to be okay. And I also want to say thank you to you fans, everyone who supports us and makes this all reality for us because without you, this wouldn't happen. You are our number one priority. So thank you guys for watching. Thank you for supporting Junior Motorsports, and we'll see you next week right here on jrmracing.com.